Hello, hi. So today I'm going to make something which will take about a month to be ready before I use it. Or actually maybe less, maybe two weeks or a week, depending how stinky it will get. You know what is that, Lala? Stinky tofu. Yeah, it's going to be stinky tofu, chou tofu. Smelly chou tofu. So I need to prepare for the stinky tofu uh, fermented water first, you know. So basically, it's, it's going to be very, very smelly in a few days time. But I'm going to just try it. I want to challenge myself. I miss Hong Kong uh, stinky tofu that sells on like Wong Kok or Luyan Gai and all that. Uh, which I really want to try and see if my neighbor will complain in a few days time or next week, okay? Because it's going to be so smelly. Um, first, it will take a while and so I won't show you the tofu yet but yeah, uh, after the fermentation, when I get the water and then I will actually show you how to uh, deep fry the tofu or uh, put the uh, tofu into the fermented, fermented water. So usually you need, you can use any kind of like, um, uh, you know, those uh, Chinese spinach or you can use, um, this one is mustard veggie and you can use coriander for this and uh, in Hong Kong they actually use prawn like fresh prawn but I have so happened I have all these prawn head which I kept from uh, in the freezer last time and I didn't use it I was thinking to cook something but it's great time to use it uh, and you need ginger a lot of ginger you need salt you need rice wine very important rice wine and you will need fu yu so basically it's actually fermented tofu fu yu you know uh, you can get in any stores and you will need rice water so when you wash your rice keep the water because it's very useful for fermentation and um, so i don't have coriander i'm gonna use spring onions so cut it lala you can cut it um any any veggie that is like spinach or you know uh, mustard i have a uh, gai choy you know gai choy is a uh, mustard veggie a lot just cut into a big chunk okay, okay. so cut, cut into big chunks huh? uh, no more smaller pieces so put inside the uh, a jar you need a jar that has that can seal totally like no air get going in so yeah kind of everything goes so it's very important to have rice wine, the rice water, and uh, some cool down boil water as well. Yeah. Okay. Actually, once you you cut the stem, you can actually actually you can use hand as well. Okay. Try oh, not you use hand. So put it in. Put all this in. My God, I cannot imagine how stinky it will be. But my neighbor told me that they want to. They want to try my stinky tofu, so I hope they don't mind the stinkiness coming towards their house. Put all the prawns in. Oh my god, I can imagine how stinky it will be. And you need to leave this in the room temperature. You cannot uh, put it in the fridge or whatever. Put a lot of ginger slices because it's not a big. soya like superior whatever tofu i put a few piece a few cubes in there maybe put a bit of water a few cubes in there done okay stuff it in lala stuff it in i don't think the kids will understand this tofu but you know what i like it stuff it in yeah you know what let me just before we stuff in, let me stuff because it's so full. I scare I won't be able to mix up the mixture. Then we put the veggie in, okay? So I mix up all the the fuyi and the wine. Wait, let me just shake it first to make sure it's properly mixed. The 
wine. All right. Yeah. Now you put it in. Yes. Okay. Well, it smells good to me now because I love to eat for you. I love to eat the Chinese cheese. Now rice water. Again, this is not really so much of measurement. Rice water. And I have also boy. This one is cool down boy water. Just fill up. All right, that. All right, that's it. So this is my stinky tofu fermenting water. Uh, I will leave it there for as long as I can. So I will try within a week and see what happens. If it's really stinky and it's good enough, then I will try to show you how to do. Uh, the tofu part. All right, Lala, are you? Will you be trying with me? Yeah. Yeah. So I love tofu. I hope the kids will enjoy it too. So yeah, have a stinky week. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. This is more stinky than durian, you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You will enjoy it. I'm sure. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Why? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Hello. Yeah. Hi, everyone. So, two weeks ago, I did this uh, fermentation. I have to speak louder, lah. Fermentation. Fermentation for the stinky tofu. I have tofu ready here, and this one is the Hong Kong style. I call it with prawns and all that. It's super stinky. It has been in my storage for a while, two weeks, and. Lala kept thinking that we have, uh, you know, Paris uh, a duck pool inside there. This one is more of a Taiwanese style without any prawns, and I want to leave this for one month to see the result. So two more weeks, I will use this. And this one, are we ready to open it? No. Lala, you have to probably stay away a little bit because. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> no, I can't have you. I'm gonna open. So I will pour out. I pour the amazing. My God, wearing masks is like this. <laughs> oh my God, it's so stinky. It's like oh my God. So I'm gonna pour this in. Oh, it's really smelly. I'm not joking. It's really smelly. Excuse me, Lala. So, get a strainer. <laughs> it's like cool. Oh my! Pour it into the tofu. And trust me, you need to. You want to shut it immediately. Oh my god! Second one. Allah ran away. Allah come back in. It's okay. I won't. Who's So, that's it. Just leave this for like um, a few hours, one two hours or a few hours, and then we can deep fry and then paste it. All right, see you later. So this stinky tofu is ready, I'm sure. So I have it in this container for over, I think about four or five hours already, and I'm gonna deep fry and try. I have my door window all open just in case because. Apparently, it's going to be very stinky, okay? Okay, a lot of oil. I'm going to open it. It's going to be stinky. Can you smell, Mom? Smell. Huh? No, it smells like rubbish bin. <laughs> can you smell? No, I can smell. Oh. So, I have my own Mel's Kidnap Me sauce. I made it myself and it's going to be amazing with my uh, stinky tofu. <laughs> yes, very, no kidding, it's actually very smelly. We should have put our mask on. You know? Okay, the oil is ready. Lala, stand by to be stink. Oh. It's quite smelly. Mums, you dare to try? No? It's actually, it smells but it tastes really good. Okay, just nice. I have actually two containers, but I'm gonna just do one to try first and see how bad it can be. 
I'll put this away. I'll throw this away by the way because it's really funny. <laughs> Everyone comes out like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Stinky tofu is very famous in Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, and China, but Hong Kong is the most popular. Uh, you can actually smell it from far, especially those night market. Uh, you can actually <laughs> smell from far. So I usually when I go to the night market, I will chase after this smell because I really like it. So basically, you can put uh, full oil, uh, but I did not, so that's why I need to turn it around as well to make sure both sides are properly fried. Uh, but yeah, it smells really like the Hong Kong chou tofu. Chou tofu, yay! I'm so excited. My neighbor is also very excited. Luckily, they're Chinese and they like uh, stinky tofu. Otherwise, I think uh, <laughs> my neighbor will, kick me, will complain to the management thinking that my neighbor had some spotty smell. Can you check them? Right, Allah? Let me check. I think it's almost ready. A bit more. Look, my stinky tofu. There you go. Meanwhile, what I have here is uh, some spring onions, cut spring onions. I'm going to mix it with my Mel, mm, Mel kidnap me sauce. Mix it up, yeah. Okay, I think this is ready. I'm going to try one and see. Wow, it's crispy. Just like the Hong Kong style. And put a bit of chili here, Lala. Mmm. I'm, I'm happy with it. it. The smell is strong, but when you eat it, you don't actually taste anything. It's just nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. So, there are my two tofu. Thank you for watching. I present to you my stinky tofu.